Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the city of Buhen. Last episode, we got the monument started, the ob obelisk, and it is... says 54% complete. I'm not entirely sure how that works, because it looks like the scaffold was aren't even 50% of the way up there, but... Well, I mean, maybe about 50%. But either way, surely the stonemasons are going to have to... I don't know. Also, we fought off another invasion by the Nubians, and they came across over here and then smashed a whole bunch of our stuff. There's another two armies on the way as well. But hopefully, this time we're going to be able to avoid dealing with them at all because hopefully we're gonna be done with this oh um did we just lose a stonemason um was that a carpenter are you okay sir that sure looked an awful lot like he just fell off the scaffolding This monument would be very short without my ramps and scaffolds. Um. Huh. Yeah, it seems to me that the idea is the scaffolds built up. And then the masons come along, do their thing, and then the scaffolding comes down. Is that not correct? Because I'm not seeing any change in the stone. But this is... Yeah, I would expect some kind of change to be taking place. I don't know. Um. Um. That. Ah. Uh. Um, huh, that seems like that is slowing things down rather considerably. <laughs> Why does he just keep falling off? That was weird. Where are you taking I'm that you copper? Here. I wonder what the city will offer. No one, no one, no one can ex I have to go clear across the city with these oh. goods. It'll take Dock all delivery. Day. I thought copper came from... Oh. It does come from Sarabhidim, but it also now comes from Enkomi. Right. We don't need that much copper. How much are we importing? I mean, I guess, and then we're going to build up a stock of weapons for reasons. I suppose, you know what? We could do this. Considering what just happened last episode, this might actually be sensible. 
Yeah, I'm gonna go for it. We already have three archers companies and two infantrymen. So a third infantryman is gonna be what we want. Yeah, let's do that. Let's see. Oh, also this episode, I would like to import some luxury goods. just a bit to get these guys upgraded. Problem is I want it to not go down this far. Why are you guys still complaining about desirability? What? Oh, we have a bit of garden missing there. Hmm. Oh no, it's a architect's post. Hmm. Can't be as close, but I, if this is not enough for this one, then I don't think it's gonna happen because we can't fit any more over here, really. How are we looking for people? No employment problems. Which means we will run into employment problems as soon as we um, import. Um, luxury goods, because these will upgrade and then they'll move out of workforce. Oh wait, there is a change happening to the monument, look! Oh cool, he is like, drifting around as he chisels, that's impressive. Six months. I t we need not that. Literally, he gives two different um, blessings. And we have consistently gotten the wrong one for like four, five times now? It's ridiculous. How are things looking down here? Need a second type of food. We're supposed to be getting grain down here. Hold on. We're waiting for some cargo to be delivered to chickpeas, our huh? We could maybe get some chickpeas over here. Yeah, it looks like we just need a second type of food over here. What about over here? Same deal. Ah, uh, there's not gonna be an easy way to fix that here, is there? Except maybe, maybe that. Can I possibly persuade you? Go get some grain from that storage yard. That'd be super helpful. Hmm. 
right there that we can't go any further. Doesn't leave quite enough room there, but something we could potentially do is kinda scoot things around a little bit over here. Let's just go in line with that, because... Oh. Nice. So that should give us the uh, completion here in just a second. I suppose I'll put down the police station again. Because why not? At least I assume that's all we need to do. Okay, it, I guess it's just gonna... Does that only update like on month turnover maybe? That could be it. enough entertainment. I think having the, uh, what is this, a bandstand? Yeah, the bandstand down here would actually be preferable because the schools are over here. There we go. Yeah, let's just get this over with. Thanks to your skill, Egypt now claims part of Nubia as its own. Through the city you have established, you have demonstrated Egypt's strength, wealth, and grandeur to the conquered Nubians. And general inability to, to properly plan out a city section district thingy. Let's see. Score 25, 47. I don't know if that's good or not, but it's, it's something. 7,300 demands final, final city funds. Not bad. Pharaoh Snofru has brought order to Egypt, and the kingdom now flourishes under his wise and benevolent rule. Snofru wishes to undertake Another construction project at Dashur, even more ambitious than the Bent Pyramid already completed. Royal architects, surveyors, and engineers are confident they can construct an edifice whose sides rise in one continuous angle, culminating in a perfect peak. If successful, this will be the first true pyramid and will be a worthy home for Pharaoh Snofru through all eternity. Pharaoh's wife, Queen Hedipheris, has recently given birth to a son whom they have named Khufu. Our people look toward the day of his eventual rule with much foreboding, for the seers of Horus, god of the Pharaoh, have predicted that he will show none of his father's benevolence toward our people. Though he will achieve many great things, they fear he will rule Egypt with unyielding tyranny. You may acquire wood from Byblos, since carpenters will have to build many ramps to allow workers to reach the summit of this great pyramid. Oh man, we're doing a proper pyramid this time. Alrighty, let's see what we've got to work with here. Oh my goodness, this is an enormous map. Holy cow. There's so much space. Okay. So let's see here. We've got... Grain and barley, so... 
food and drink. Got room here, room here. This is not actually a lot of room. Hmm. Well, I suppose it's quite long. Yeah. Still, what is the population requirement? I missed it. Three thousand. Oh. Who has brought all that's that's not a big deal. We've also got the meadows over here, which is a pretty thin strip of it by the looks of things. Gonna have to do a little fiddling to figure out the most optimal way of getting farms over there. We've also got this secondary tributary river. Which... What am I looking for? Water crossing. Yeah, we're definitely gonna need to do bridges across this to make this work. Now, considering the sheer size of this place, the amount of space we've got. We could potentially do the two wide roads again. Make this place properly... Ooh. Town palace. Oh. We've, we've upgraded. Cool. And is anything else different, I wonder? Oh, that's not gonna... It's probably not this, but... Temple Complex to Ptah. Okay. And here's the large pyramid. Wow, they're not kidding. Wow, that's enormous. Okay, that's not gonna work. No, that's gonna work. Okay. There's there's these sand dunes are irritating. I really wish we could remove those. Just just to verify. We can't, can we? No. Let's see, we've got raw materials, limestone. So that'll be that'll be up here. Wow, that is a long way away from any housing. Oof, I don't like that. Okay. Jeweler, potter, brewer, weaver, virus, brickwork, shipwright. Construction guilds. Oh. Oh. This is Dashur. How, why in the world would we get attacked here? Can go to Byblos. There's our copper. Maydoom has got a lot of stuff. Limestone. Oh, we can sell them pla- wait, sell them plain stone. We don't have plain stone, we have limestone. Well, that's not useful. Wait, no, I, I'm sorry, I have, the, have that backwards. We can sell them limestone and buy plain stone. That's quite useful. They want a lot of barley and beer as well, okay. Abu. Potentially new bricks. Who sells? You sell clay. What about straw? Oh, we, we're doing straw because we've got grain. Right. Right? Am I? Yes. Yes, that's that gives straw. I mean, strictly speaking, so should the barley, but whatever. Mm hmm. Still got libraries. I'd like to properly actually use those this time. B 
but yeah, we're gonna have to bridge across to here because, in, in particular, because we're going to need... Oh man, we can trade with one, one city without, without docks. Don't particularly like that. Oh, no, I take it back. Salima Oasis as well. Okay. I don't, I don't like, I don't like the fact that we've got this. Potentially this means that we're going to be sending people abroad more so than defending here, but this concerns me. I think we should probably anticipate building walls places. Could do a little bit of something here. Could put a wall along here. And then, let's see, how big is this spot over here? That's six wide, so we could actually put two warships here. And that'd be, with the walls, this area would be not nice to live next to. We'd have the housing down here. Seems sensible. Definitely want to properly do the gatehouses this time. Um, because of the sand dunes here, we'll want the wall to go here. Can it then... No, that's not what I want. Okay, I'm going to... Go ahead and grab a save. And just kinda... Just kinda... See what we can do. That's not terrible. Can we continue that pattern? Not quite, but almost. Oh, the walls can actually be built slightly outside the map where it says you can't build them. Okay, so that would be a bit of a weak point, but we could double up towers in that area if we need to. That's probably not terrible. And then have a wall going over to here. And probably down straight this way. You know? Rather than trying to go up and over. But I don't know, this is quite a bit of space here. All things considered so maybe actually it would be better to go along this way and then turn like this and then go diagonal turn like this to um nope do we have an academy yes okay so we put this somewhere here ish maybe a little further down then take the wall diagonally across there. And then straight this way, diagonal to here. Diagonal. And then diagonal match up with that. This side is going to be quite easy. It's going to be... Oh, I take it back. I don't like that. I guess something we could do is take it from here, go straight down diagonally, and then go across this way. Let's see. Yeah, that works. And then just block off this area down here. 
because we have a lot of space. We do have a lot of dunes that we have to work around, though. I really... Just, just to... Hmm. Alright, I guess... I guess the answer is no. We can't do anything with them. Can't we just get a bunch of dudes with shovels? Like, I would be fine if it was like a work camp and then you designate the area and clear it out or something. But I don't hate this. I don't hate this at all. I don't hate this at all. And that can... Yeah, that's at least three wide. Except for right there, which... You'd have to zig and zag just a tiny bit to to do proper... Because that's... That's four wide there, and that's four wide there. That'd be a serious wall. And then we'd go diagonally up to there. And then this can just carry on straight down to this and then diagonally across the river. That seems quite safe and secure for the area up, up and around here. I, 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 do, I do like that idea. And obviously we'd have walls. For, for the outlying areas, I think we're going to have to go with, like, lone huts in order to provide population. I don't think there's any way around that. This this area is just so far away from the housing, where the housing would be. That's as far out as that could go, which means... Even if we do one wide road, this is probably about as far out as we're going to get the uh, the housing to go in this line of dunes here. Which does actually seem like a pretty natural like dividing line. Like, we'll go up to this point with the housing-ish. Well, maybe not everywhere. Then we do also have this bit in the center, which is interesting. We could we could easily wall this off here. And then have some have a fort up here. Probably like could do something like this. Maybe. Then diagonal wall, diagonal wall. That'd be more expensive than going straight across, but it would also give us a bit more room to maneuver, especially since the uh, the forts have such a large area of undesirable location. And then there would be, like, a barrier, say, here-ish where we put, like, temples, and then the housing down here, and we've got space along here for docks. Dock, dock, not quite there. That's three docks. That's probably going to be good. I doubt we can put them along here. Well, I mean, put them, but I don't think that people will be able to use it. Potentially worth experimenting with, though. We could put one on one of these spots and just see if the ships can navigate. I doubt it. But it's worth at least experimenting, especially since docks are not that expensive. And then we've got the water crossing over to this side. Oh, is that not? Okay. 
So we've got there, there. I don't like that spot there. That's too far north. I don't like this either. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. Okay, none of these other ones will work at, work at all. So, I don't want to use this because it's a perfect six across. Which means we can put two warships. There's really not a lot of space for, for this sort of stuff along here. Uh, just to verify, we can't actually do bridges anywhere here, can we? Nah. It's just too far. Just too far. Okay. I don't particularly want to use that spot either. I guess we could do this here and then there. That's not superb though. That'll make walling off the area super duper difficult. Because it'll mean we'll have to bring the road along something like this or so in order to get one of these things in here. And then wall diagonal. I don't particularly like that. Yeah, I don't particularly like that at all. But we might not have any other options. I mean, I guess we could forego one of the warships. I'd rather not. We're also going to want transports. That's a good, good combo there. Three of them. That'll be helpful. Oh. Oh, interesting. This can go over here, but... What? Hmm. Okay, why are these special? I don't know. That's that's a little weird. What about Hmm. Who's that? We probably would do the water lift up here though, because there's no Like, I'm reasonably certain getting a warship over here is not useful. I mean, I might I guess we might try at some point, but I, it can't get over to here, and I doubt enemies will be over here, so it's not really anything that we would want to invest a lot of time and money into. But the, uh, the water lifts can easily go over here and service this area. And then we do also have the ability to do the irrig irrigation ditches throughout this, which is worth remembering. So do we do the ferry here or not? I suppose we don't really need to plan out this area ahead of time too much. Simply because we don't know if we'll need it or not, like... We could potentially just avoid the area altogether if we, if we don't need anything over there. And if we're not going to get attacked by, by water, I don't know that we're not going to get attacked by water, but again, we're, like, here. I... how could... how could they possibly get over here? A any kind of enemy? I don't know. It doesn't seem reasonable to me. 
so I do assume that we're going to be sending people elsewhere. So if that's the case, we may not need the warship warps at all. And if that's the case, then we can we can do the ferry wherever we want over here. I do want to have walls though. Nothing else it'll definitely make me feel better about having like if nothing else I just I really want to experiment a bit more with setting them up and making them look nice and function well because like if we do something like that and then we put a tower here that kind of messes that up. If we... Because we can't really embed this in the wall, you know? Because it does need road access, otherwise there's no point in having it. don't know how much wall sensible you know how much we might need and I don't even necessarily mean here uh, in future we might need walls we will almost certainly need walls in some other city so it's something I'd like to kind of you know properly wrap my head around before using elsewhere Yeah, I think that is a general idea, a generally decent sort of plan for for that, for the, um, for the walls. Let me just kind of... And then up this way, and then over somewhere, and then diagonal to remind myself where that is. And then I do like the idea of going diagonal up here. And then putting a fort. As far, as far into the corner as we can, and then probably another one. And that'll be a nice place to have forts. It's kind of out of the way. And if we have some um, bridges, say, here, here, we can get a crossover to here to assist relatively quickly. And then other, other forts, I'm thinking here can be one, here, here, maybe down here. Potentially one down here. Ish. Now for the. For the housing. We have the stupid stand sand dunes to worry about. How much is that going to get in the way? I don't know. Potentially pull this over a little bit and kind of come this way. Instead. You kind of like that idea generally. Is that necessary? Probably not. Do we want to try the 2x2 two two roads? They look really nice is the thing, but they need need a lot of room. I'm going to assume no housing directly next to this. Hang on a second. 
Those don't actually do anything for the desirability. The towers do. But it's not a huge detriment. You see? I think some of these things actually have a worse effect, don't they? No, that's that's the same. That's the same level. And we can kind of overpower that with the right combination of stuff. Certainly to get up to the best 2x2 two two houses, I think we can overpower that. We have enough room. So potentially, maybe, we do... Well, the problem is we would have to go, like, right through the middle... We're going to have walls that are... The full... Four wide. Well, that'd be a reason to move the gatehouse over, wouldn't it? We have walls like that. And then we have towers in on the inside. That's gonna be so expensive. <laughs> Holy cow. That is gonna be so expensive. But hopefully, we're gonna be able to make up for it with trade. Because we can sell grain. That'll work. That's us. We can sell barley and beer and we can do linen and limestone. We can do a lot of limestone. Limestone is not going to be very profitable, is it? Oh. Okay. So that'll be something we're going to do at some point. What am I looking for? Oh. It's not the best, but it's not the worst either, especially since that's just a raw material that we can just pull out, so it's not, like... Let's see. Oh no, it would be selling for 35 versus... That's 100 profit. Over 100 profit. So is that about the same? But still, there's an enormous amount of it over here. And they want quite a bit of it. So that's that's gonna be doable. Where is where's the flax? There's flax there. We can do bricks. Bricks are good. Pottery is pretty good. Pyrus is good. More pottery and beer and linen and papyrus. Copper. We can't really do copper. Is there anyone I'm missing that we can trade with? Potentially, as we go along, we'll be able to trade with more people. Gems and jewelry. Wait, jewelry. Um, jeweler. We could potentially make that happen. Oh right, that's not very good. I forgot about that. Why is it? Why is it so different? don't really understand that but I mean it is a thing we could do it's not the best as far as profit but it is something 
and because we're limited in the amount that we can sell to people, that's something worth looking into. It does mean, however, that we are definitely going to need three docks minimum, potentially more if, if we really start selling a lot and not being able to keep up. So that's, that's, yeah, that does really cut down the amount we can do for warships. On the other hand, something we could also do is do the 3x3 three three houses and get them upgraded considerably. Make a nice district. Hmm. This. Um. Go away. We're not actually playing. We're just. We're just testing. We're just feeling. Feeling how things are gonna go. And I'm feeling. This wall is definitely going to have to be here. But we don't necessarily want to go that way, because we could have have it go this way, and then we could go down and then diagonal, and then diagonal again. That gives us a bit more of a chunk of space. I don't know how valuable that would be, though. I'm thinking this is probably going to have to be somewhere here let me see where is there's that dune there the edge of that where's the edge of this one here how far apart is that that's an obnoxious amount isn't it one two three four so that's eleven Which means that, yeah, that is a tiny bit frustrating because it's that makes it one well, two wider than it needs to be for that. But we do the two wide road like this. For example, rather than there, I'm uh, I'm thinking because of these dunes, we're just not going to be able to do the two by two by roads. It's just not quite enough space. It's really nice looking, but. These dunes are really frustrating me. Um, let me reload and... Actually, if I just do this... Yeah. Although that gets rid of all of the... Well, whatever. So, something else we could do. Where is the, uh, there? We go out. And then we turn this way. We go out. And then we turn this way. And if we have the temple complex in the middle... Oh wow, I wasn't even measuring and I managed to make it something like that. And 
We could go we could go up along the sides and then back. Right? So, is that correct? Yes. For the four wide housing, what we could do, we need four. We could just put it there. Could also go out far enough that we've got another one on the other side with space in the center. That does run into beautification issues, of course. And also the question of will the water make it? doesn't quite fit because there's a space right there, isn't there? That's stupid. That would be that would be quite nice. I don't particularly like the asymmetry. But there's a bit there's there's there are bits of dune there that we can't get rid of. I'm not entirely convinced that the road or the, the water will be able to make it that far. If these were two by two wide roads, they definitely wouldn't be able to reach that far, not consistently, I don't think. Because the the two two wide roads do seem to reduce how far they can go consistently. We saw that at Mennefer. So maybe we don't do this. But we could still have it go around. And there could be there could be industry type stuff here. And then go that way. Then we could hook up with, with what's going on over here. But how? Hmm. I just realized that it's we're we're getting pretty close to an hour at this point, and we have not really laid out proper plans for the city just yet. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave it here, and I'm going to off camera fiddle with stuff. I think the walls idea is sound. Pretty sure that'll work. And something we can we can do is actually like measure stuff out and then start the inner walls. And then slowly build up the layers outward. That that way we won't accidentally build anything in the way of stuff in future. How expensive would that actually be, I wonder? Like, if we just, just kind of take one of these, like this, 2,000. That is expensive, but it's not really that expensive. I don't think. Not long term, at least. But yeah, I'm going to figure this out. These dunes are really throwing me off, and I think I'm going to have to do a lot of fiddling and measuring stuff to try and get as much as we can out of this because I do want to try using 
four by four houses for part of our income long term. We'll be able to do sections of two by two houses that are quite nice in areas like this. I think probably what we could do is like have road, housing, gardens, spine of gardens, housing, road, and then housing on either side, and then the stuff outside of that might actually go one further out than that. Potentially even two. There's a decent bit of room here. Ugh. This map is gigantic compared to the last one we were on, so... We can kind of be a little more loose with stuff. But I want to plan things out properly. And, and really make use of this to make a nice looking city. The dunes are really going to throw me off though. But I'm going to see what I can figure out. See what I can do. And I will see you next episode. So, till then... Take care, and farewell. Four different gods. Interesting. Oh, can't forget the town palace either. Oh, it's odd width. Oh, it can go along the line of the, the temple complex. That's fantastic.